Welcome back to Retro Game Coders. In this video, we're going to put our Commodore 64 on the internet. You've got two options with putting your Commodore 64 on the internet. You can buy an off the shelf device, which is perfectly fine. And you'll pay between 30 and hundred dollars with the knowledge that there should be some support. There'll be software and firmware included, plus some instructions, or you can build your own and you can build your own using pretty much the same hardware as the off the shelf solution. Why would you want to put your Commodore 64 on the internet? Well, the main reason people want to do it is they want to use bulletin board software they want to go visit bulletin boards the 1980s style social media and that can be a lot of fun and it's a great way of downloading files to your computer so if you want to go browse the bulletin board wide web and download files there's quite a few packages out there that work a great one is ccgms and another one is strike term and here's me using ccgms to go on the particles bulletin board If you want to build your own solution, what does that involve? Actually, it's pretty easy. First of all, you're gonna need a ESP8266. Just like the off-the-shelf solutions, the boards that you're gonna buy are going to have RX and TX and they're gonna have ground pins. So just like with the Arduino, we're gonna program it to use the serial. And again, just like the Arduino, we're going to use the user port. We're going to use the ground pins, the B and C combined to make RX and the M pin. We're going to flip the RX and TX actually on the board. And that's going to give us our communication to the user port. And then you're going to need some firmware. So you're going to configure your Arduino IDE to have board definitions for ESP8266. And then we're going to burn the firmware and configure our ESP8266 as if it is a Haze compatible modem. And to do that, you use Haze AT commands. For example, to set the board rate, you would do AT dollar sign SB equals 1200. And then it would give you a warning that it's switching serial over to 1200 to give you a chance to set your board rate in your serial monitor. And to save to the onboard flash so you don't have to type that in every time, you can do AT and sign W. And here's using the Commodore 64 with the ESP8266. And it gives a connection to Wi Fi. So you have to set your SSID and your password, and then you can get onto the Wi Fi. And then it will return the IP address and all the other information. Using the basic program I shared in the Arduino video, we can connect to bulletin boards. The problem is we don't have any ANSI interpretation. So after a while, you'll get some strange codes coming through that it can't interpret. But as you can see, under the hood, it's working exactly the same as using our serial echo example. It's just working over essentially Telnet. And that means that we can create our own backend service, effectively create similar to a bulletin board. And that means we can connect to APIs such as the weather and get the current date and time. Plus, we can do fancy things like we can get my current YouTube channel subscribers and view count. So using Python on a computer or if you've got a server, we can create a little service that creates sockets and allows a Telnet connection on a certain port number. In this case, I'm gonna use the port number 6464 and then we listen for any connections. Once we've got a connection, 
we can allow the Telnet client, which would be the Commodore 64, to ask certain questions. So I've got if message is D for the date, and I'll return the current date. We've got T for time. We've got W, which will go ahead and get the weather. And then I've got S for YouTube subscribers using the YouTube API. And I've got V for the view count. Obviously, you're going to need your own API keys to do this yourself. Here we have it in operation. So first of all, we do ATDT and we dial up the IP address of my local machine using colon and the port number 6464. And it connects at 1200 board. And once it's connected, we can do D to get the date. We can do T to get the time and so on. Thank <laughs> you.